What's going on guys? Love Smash. Back with a really quick update for you guys today. Got a little bit of Street Fighter V news to share. Now for those of you guys who did not know, New York City Comic Con is taking place today and for the next few days, Ono did state that that stuff was going to be happening and a lot of people are taking photos and video footage and posting them online and with that, we got our first glimpse at a brand new stage which is based on New York City, which is really, really awesome. I love this stage so much. Really happy a New York stage is in Street Fighter V. Now with that, if you look in the background, you'll be able to spot a very familiar looking Street Fighter character, which many fans are speculating is indeed Alex. Now, as you can tell from this character, the muscles, the headband, the blonde hair, the camel pants, and the boots, it very well could be Alex, although it's not officially confirmed, but by the looks of it, it really does seem to be him. And Alex does hail from New York. Now, many fans are already saying this deconfirms Alex, he's not gonna be playable, he's a background character, we've been screwed again. Now, that may be the case, however, maybe not. Now, we know from the small aircraft stage in Street Fighter 4 that many characters like Balrog, Vega, and Bison did appear in the background, but they were still playable. So maybe there's a chance that could be the same deal with Alex, where he could appear as a background character, and that's Ono trolling, and then he could be playable by being replaced by a different character in that stage. However, he could be deconfirmed. I really don't know. I'm just throwing out some ideas here and stuff that happened in the previous Street Fighter game. Now, we know that Alex is not going to be part of the core roster. The core roster is going to consist of 16 characters, 14 of which have already been confirmed. We found out a month ago, it's going to be eight classic characters, four returning ones that haven't been in a game in a long time, and four new characters. We're just waiting on the last classic and last newcomer, and I'm planning to do a video about that, hopefully have it up in a little while. But going back to Alex, a lot of people really did think he was going to be playable because of the Silicon Era rumor, where it stated that him, Yurian, Armika, and Karin were all going to be playable. Now, we know Armika and Karin are. Alex and Yurian, we still have no idea. Now, the rumor never did specify whether they'd be part of the core roster, or if they would be post-launch, they just said they were going to be playable. So it is entirely possible Alex could still be playable. Maybe this is more of a troll by Ono. We know he likes to do that. And the fans really do want Alex in this game. So you never know. Although he could be deconfirmed, I have no idea. We're just going to have to wait and see. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you really think this is Alex in the background? Do you think this deconfirms him? Do you think he still has a chance to be added post-launch? Anything you guys want to mention, please feel free to. But anyway, guys, that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, if you want the latest fighting game news and speculation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon with a brand new video.